Acura was the first Japanese car maker to challenge the luxury establishment, rolling into the Big Bucks banquet in 1986 with a bold corporate mantra, precision crafted performance. Yet it didn't take long for Honda's luxury division to stray from that lofty credo and embark on a meandering identity quest that's only now beginning to show tiny glimpses of returning to its roots, on the passenger car side of the house, at least. But it's another story in Acura's SUV department. After kicking up some dust with its first offering in the compact crossover segment, the slightly unruly but stimulating original RDX, Acura has retreated to the safety of posh interiors, creamy ride quality, quiet operation, lots of tech features, and not too many demands on the driver. That evolution occurred when the RDX went from Generation 1 to Generation 2 for 2012 and it's amplified by this update for model year 2016. It brings sexier styling, if any of these two box haulers can be classified as sexy, more content, more safety features, a modest power increase, and a one mile per gallon uptick in EPA highway fuel economy to 28 miles per gallon with all wheel drive. We recorded 23 miles per gallon during our travels with this AWD model, smooth operator. Raising the output of the 3.5-liter V6 by 6 horsepower and a single pound-foot of torque, predictably, makes no difference at the test track. Acceleration results are identical with those posted by the 2014 AWD RDX we tested, 0 to 60 in 6.2 seconds and through the quarter mile in 14.8 at 96 miles per hour. These are certainly respectable numbers by the standards of this class and quicker than many, and the 6-speed automatic is nicely attuned to the engine's power band, going about its business unobtrusively in full auto mode. Its languid responses to the paddle shifters add nothing to the driving experience, however. Beyond that, the RDX is a smooth operator on just about any surface, isolating occupants from the harsh realities of nasty pavement, and doing so quietly. What's not to like? The answer to that question depends on what you expect from your vehicle. If it's merely luxuriously furnished comfort and insulation from the vicissitudes of daily traffic, fortified by vigorous throttle response, compared with much of the competition, the RDX is hard to fault. But if you demand a little more, eager responses, minimal body motions, tactile steering, confidence-inspiring grip, decisive braking, the RDX begins to feel a little ho-hum. The electric power steering, for example, varies effort with speed but doesn't feel particularly precise, the driver finds himself making little mid-corner corrections. Body roll is just this side of abundant, grip delivered by a set of Michelin Primacy Airmex M4 all-season tires, 235 6018, is modest at 0.77 grams, transient responses are relaxed, and braking performance is so-so by class standards. Our test crew noted the complete absence of fade and consistent distances, but 184 feet from 70 miles per hour is not a bragging point. Understeer is plentiful, of course, but that's pretty much universal in this segment.